It is a super cold winter day. I'll go ahead and turn off the HVAC so that you can hear better. And I set the GPS from Westfield Connecticut High School to Newington, Connecticut's Stop and Shop. I figure why not have you ride along with me? So here we go. Now parking lots are not really the car's strength. We don't have the little gray steering wheel icon just yet. And it's not actually seeing parking spots that we're driving by apparently. That's okay. So we're gonna be on a main street. There we go, gray wheel has shown up. Uh, it's got our left blinker on. Okay. Here it goes. Now snow banks, they change things a little bit, not a lot. The snow banks um, basically look like leaves or other obstacles on the side of the road where you'll see the uh, ultrasonic sensor sometimes sense it kind of close to an obstruction, uh, something on the side of the road. But reading curbs when there are no curbs and basically just edges of melting snow, yeah, it's tricky stuff. Okay, the car's inching forward, inching forward, and inching forward and stopping finally for this car coming. And here we go. Creeping forward for visibility still. Boy, that's pretty hesitant, but it's it's uh, it's going. All right. So far, so good. Let's give you a full screen. <clears throat> my hands are lightly resting on the wheel, so I can take over at any time, but they're not really doing anything. And my foot is hovering over the brake pedal, also not doing anything. The car is doing the accelerating and braking. Now we're getting some irregular speeds there. You saw a little regen, you know, green to gray, green to gray. The car accelerating, decelerating, that's what that is. If you look closely at the taillights, you might actually see them illuminate, um, indicating when the regen is strong enough to have the taillights cast light onto the road behind us. <clears throat> I need to keep pressure on the wheel here and there to make sure the car knows I'm paying attention. Kind of alert. I'm ready to take over. So that's why in these self-driving videos all you can really do is look for that blue circle there that means the car is in autopilot on city streets mode. It's technically what it's called. You can see it's reading traffic lights and so forth. And uh, the lighting is actually pretty good as the sun goes down. We can see out the window well but you can also see um, the dark mode uh, with nice contrast. I might want to crank up the brightness of the screen display in a second when we get to a stoplight. Not sure. It's probably bright enough for you, but hard to tell as I drive. You'll see it's 27 Fahrenheit. I just got done recording my three-year ownership experience video. My hands are rather numb. All right. We're following this car ahead of me a little more than I normally want. I'm at a follow distance of seven, but it's still closer than I would normally want. That's what I meant to say there. But we're going so slow it really doesn't matter. There's plenty of stopping time. All right, we're at a four-way stop, but clearly other people have arrived before me. I should fully stop now. Down to two miles an hour, and then I went. All right. The other car was coming to my left, but we were way ahead of him, or her. Doing a great job with keeping its lane. This red part is, you know, non-drivable space, and you can see it gets wider between it and the white line when there's less snow. The snow is melted back from the road a bit. Oh, it's doing quite well. <laughs> Haven't intervened in any way. Accelerated brake and steering wheel have not had my input. Um, so now we're, now we're heading uh, close to probably two miles without any intervention whatsoever. Coming up, we're going to be getting on a divided highway, but it's still, uh, I think it's a 50 mile an hour zone, and I think it'll still be on city street mode, rather than like highway mode. And it's got multiple lanes to choose, and kind of a tricky entrance to the supermarket, so stay tuned, it'll get a little more complicated, a little more difficult, coming up. Now there are videos out there of people driving on snowpack. Um, yeah, that's all another world, <laughs> when, when you can't see the lanes at all, the lines. You can see even now there's quite a bit of salt on that center yellow line. Contrast is reduced or whatever chemical they use to treat the roads. Um, but it's not bad. It's a pretty well marked road here. Anyhow, driving on snowpack is a different world. You as a human, you tend to follow the tracks of the car ahead of you. And I think that would be the safest approach. If there's a car ahead of you on a highway or around town, doesn't really matter. Follow the two tire tread tracks of the car ahead of you and you're probably going to stay out of trouble. right? Whether it's turning or straight. 
that can go horribly wrong if they go off uh, off the road themselves, but consider that as well. Here we go, we should get in the right lane here. Very smooth, no blinker, but that's okay, because uh, it did it very early in the lane. Okay, we just went around a pothole, which is nice. I don't think it did that on purpose, but I liked it. Accelerating slightly aggressively where there could be some ice where this water's melting, but I, I doubt it. It's 20, uh, 25 Fahrenheit, well, could be icy, but the road's been treated. All right, here, there are cars coming, but they're way behind us. Okay, but not on my lane, so I'm good. Worked out fine. Good job. Okay, it changed our speed limit. And there's a Model Y with battery power. BATT PWR license plate. Cute. For some reason, I'm changing the left lane. Not sure why. Not that close to the supermarket yet. Okay, very few cars around me. No interventions yet. My most impressive drive so far. This is FSD Beta 10.8. And it's January 8th of 2022. little bit abrupt on the slowdown and then it tapered the slowdown and stayed at 43 and then it's slowing again so just a little erratic there but not bad Give a little wave to the model y guy oh, not paying attention to me that's okay i'll just note that my car is looking at my eye position it's making sure i keep my eyes on the road if i look away for too long it'll punish me and warn me on the screen that it'll disengage autopilot Okay, I should get to the left lane here now. Uh, soon. And it's doing it. It crossed the white line to do it, so I did it kind of late. For no good reason. And now a second lane change. So it worked out okay, no big deal. Once I had the blinker on, I knew it intended to get to the left, but I'm gonna report that to Tesla anyway. It could have done a better deal. Uh, could have done a better job of that. And it certainly shouldn't cross white lines like that, um, especially given it had no reason to. There was no traffic or other cause for it to do that. Now we get a situation with white stripes. People don't always adhere to the white stripes. The vehicle to my right, uh, my car needs to keep a careful eye on it. It can't assume it's going to follow the, the dashed line through the intersection, which it, it looks like it is not rendered, which is interesting. All right, the other cars are going to proceed. Play. Crank it to full brightness for you. It might help you a little bit. Leave it full screen. All right, here we go. Okay, soon we're going to have a green light. Foot is hovering over the brake pedal. Car is proceeding carefully. It's staying in the lane that it should. No threat from the car next to me. That went exceedingly well. Diving into the left lane very gently, just as the left lane became available, so no one behind me was confused what my intentions were. And now it's rather sluggishly approaching the stop sign. So the person behind me might might be a little annoyed. And then I rolled through it, I think, four miles an hour, so it's a little strange. Full stop would have been preferred. Okay, now we got some instructions on the right. Ice and snow. Car's got his right blinker on, and it went for it. Wow tucking into this little slot and it's done so I'm going to disengage now and park the car